in the kitchen with Chef Troy. You did duck, and one of the things I want to want to ask about with duck is how pricey is it? What would you compare it to? Uh, probably like if you were buying steak, I would compare it to a fillet. Okay. It's going to be similar in price. Okay, so similar per price pound. per pound. Per pound. Okay. Of course, and you know the ones that we got, you know, they were a little over a pound. You know, that's a little over a pound, and they they sort of puff up when you cook them. So when you get them, they look kind of flat. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of flat. Um, and we'll explain how we did that in a second. I want to get my cauliflower out before okay. I, before I ruin it, Derek. And you put that crumble on it, right? Yeah, this is for you, man. I know how much you like cauliflower, so I decided Love it. to do this for you. So what we did. And was... my wife doesn't make it because nobody else in the house <laughs> eats it. So that's the problem with with one of those. You know, you got a vegetable in the house and no one else eats, I'm not going to make a whole big thing of cauliflower for myself. Well, do like I did right here. Just cut it in half and make some for yourself. Nice. You know, and basically what I did was I blanched it, put it in boiling water for about five minutes. We did not put it in ice bag. Yeah, you took it out, right? Just we wanted to, you know, I put it in the colander. We just kind of let the steam come off of it. And then we, you know, drizzled some, I used duck fat, but you could use olive oil or whatever. Uh, we made breadcrumbs really easy. I just used some panko breadcrumbs. We put them in a nonstick pan. Just, uh, we took the seeds, coriander, fennel, cumin. You know, we took some peppercorns and we bashed them all up. And then we incorporated that into when we toasted the breadcrumbs. So it did two things. It toasted the breadcrumbs and it woke the spices up. So they're very nice and aromatic and nice. almost like they're very fresh. It's active now. Exactly. And uh, we put that in the oven after we cut it uh, for about 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, about 350 degrees just okay. to warm it through. It was basically already done anyway. So nice. that's perfect side for our, our duck here. Now, is that something when, is that easy to reheat to? It like is. will it, you know, like if I've got leftovers of that, I can I can nuke that and. Yeah, I eat it cold. Okay. I, I'm a big cold broccoli and cauliflower kind of okay. guy. Okay. You know asparagus too. All right. So what we did, we also made a, a salad. Now we talked about what frisé was. Frisé is in the chicory family. It's kind of bitter. You've probably recognized it in your mixed greens. Yeah. You know, you've seen like this, but you know, I'm using the whole thing, so we wanted to take some of that bitterness away and add some of this stuff to it. Now we've got some nice tangy goat cheese. You know, let me stop right there. Derek. Uh oh. We're stopping at the goat We're cheese. We're stopping at Okay. Stop everybody. Bacon always comes first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got our warm bacon vinaigrette, which we just used uh, some bacon grease when we rendered our bacon for uh -huh. our salad. We just saved some of that. We had some mustard, some red wine vinegar, incorporated that, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're going to drizzle that right on there. And it really won't take a whole lot. I mean, obviously, you can put some more on it. So want. bacon in any form always comes first. That right. is the lesson today. Well, it's first and last because you always want to make sure it's in the greens and then it's on the top. Okay. All right, so that was goat cheese. Now we've got some just pecans. You could use walnuts, hazelnuts, you know, Doesn't cashews, you know, you whatever. Use. These were our duck fat croutons, which we took the duck fat that I got at the fresh market. Which you rubbed it on, and it has that butter-like right consistency. Here. Exactly. And you know, I kind of set it out room temperature, get it nice and soft. So we got that on there. We've got the bacon, of course. And then basically, you could just serve it just like that. What I would do, you know, if I was at home, I would take some of this duck. And I would lay it. My mouth is already water. <laughs> and, and I would lay some of this duck on there. You can see we cooked it to a nice medium. And you can see, you know, the skin is nice and crispy. All, you know, most of the fat that was on there rendered itself out. And uh, you can save that, strain it out, use it for different stuff like the croutons and all that good stuff. Um, and you can see, you know, right here when you cut duck, and I know we got to go. Okay. You know, turn it over like that so the skin side is down. And just start cutting on the bias like that, so that way the skin kind of works as a as a barrier. It's going to be the crispiest thing there. So okay. now you can get all the recipes later this afternoon on FoxArt.com. Okay. Had a problem with my computer yesterday, so I didn't okay, get a chance so to get them. Okay, so it'll be up. up a little bit later. A little bit later. By the way, while we're talking cooking, this was the perfect day for us to launch what we're doing here. We're satisfying your sweet tooth as well, so you can enjoy all this savory stuff and then get the sweet stuff. We are giving away the big sugar uh, sugarlicious prize pack. Now we've got ten copies of the new book, Sugarlicious, all sorts of different delicious. Recipes in there, dessert ideas, and one grand prize winner getting a brand new seven quart KitchenAid mixer. Very easy to win. All you have to do go to the Fox News Rising Facebook page, like us, then you're going to have to change the view from timeline to sweepstakes at the top of the page. That will take you to the entry form. You enter there and you are in for the big grand prize and then those uh, 10 books that were given away too. Way to go, Vanna White. That was good. Thank you. Like that? that? Yeah, good. I did like that. Hey, with your gardening um, segment that you did earlier, um, I brought some stuff that I'm going to plant in my garden. We're going to use throughout the show during the spring and the summer. Okay. We've got some oregano, some thyme. We got some arugula seeds and some kale, and we'll bring it in and we'll cook it. I love. Time. You know, yeah. I love kale. Oh, big time. Love the kale. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you love the, okay, you love kale. Well, you, 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 got a you, got a, you got a problem with that too, mate? Boys, you got a problem boys, with the mate? Have a good day. That's what kale does to you. <laughs>